gotta get a better start. thing it saved me oh me Don't want to work, do they? All right, guys, that's a pretty rough weight for me. The uh, yoke sprints before it was a PR weight. I think it was like 627 uh, in freedom units. I don't know the distance, but uh, you know I was going for five meters, something like that, 15, 20 feet, which I think I was getting somewhere close to. Um, I'm a little sick, run down. I can definitely tell it. Stabilization's a little off. Back is a little off. Probably just for. I spent the last week mostly laying down, sleeping on the couch and in bed. So everything's just kind of gotten stiff. But uh, these step ups, what to look for on these. I really wish I had some 25s that were not so not so tall, just about an inch shorter, but this is fine. Um, what to look for is stability. If I still have video from the last time I did these, you can notice that as I'm stepping up, the yoke was all over the place. Swing, rocking, controlling me. I think I did three steps, whereas this week I did six with each foot. And uh, the big difference was having control. To have control takes all the uh, mental cues working at the right time. Uh, to stay tight, be patient, move slowly. Uh, you know, don't take off faster than you need to, you know, especially with me. You know, a big thing with me is being able to just pick up my feet to set it on here. You know, my feet, I've got a little bit of movement there, guys. I've got a little bit of movement in that foot right now. So uh, that's big. So in order for me to make that step, uh, not only do I have to force myself to raise the toe as high as I can, which is pretty much flat to the ground. I can't raise it higher they parallel to the floor and I have to pick up this leg and then once I get up here I have to balance with the foot the calf that quad is uh, hammering down like crazy so is that hamstring along with all of my back and lats and then I drive off with that left leg to get me up and then I'm stepping back down with that right foot again balancing with the right foot and then making the action with the left foot I don't think I can step with my left foot 
and then drive with my right. It doesn't feel like a natural movement. Um, any step that I do, if I'm standing here and I want to step, the natural movement is right foot first. Every, with everything that I've, I've done the last year or two. If you watch me on the yoke today, my sets that were bad, that were really slow, were the ones that when I picked it up, the sled was too tight, and the first thing it did was jerk me back. And which foot did I move to catch my balance? My right to step back and give me balance. And I wanted to hold there for five seconds, but then to take off, I have to lean and drive with that foot, and I just don't have a good lean and drive. So the sets that I did well, I had the sled somewhat correct, and I could stand up and kind of auto-correct to a squared off stance, and then I can lean both legs, I can pick up the right foot and drive with the left. So anyway, this is a heck of an exercise, 360 something pounds right here. It's a great builder. Uh, and the big thing with, with these exercises that I do at the end of an event is that it gives me an idea, not only what, you know, doing the event itself, I pick up what my weakness is. And then this is to address that weakness. And then I study this to figure out which muscles uh, need to be improved. And between now and the next time I do yoke, which will be about a month, I've got three to four weeks to work on those muscles, work on my balance, and uh, do what it takes to get better by the next time yoke comes around. Don't just do yoke expecting to get better at yoke. Figure out what's going wrong. Figure out what your weaknesses are. Take your rest time to train those weaknesses. Otherwise, you're just gonna beat yourself up on this thing. Make yourself better. Don't beat yourself up.